Wu Tang. Okay. Wu Tang is for the kids. Wu Tang. Now for the you know children. what? Besides that, man, Wu Tang was dropping knowledge and positivity. Right. You know, NWA brought the age of destruction. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. NWA brought the age of destruction to our children and our culture. Wow. Period. Hey, I respect all of them as men. Right. But as the art form, and you want me to speak on the art form, I'm going to tell you what it is. That's where it started. Wow. That's where the agenda started, and that's where the destruction began. Yo, man, big, big facts. I want to speak on Special Ed, the Bill Cosby of hip-hop. Special Ed, Mr. Bill Cosby himself, because he represents Bill Cosby in his music. Not literally, but from what I understood with Special Ed, he he had he was like a Will Smith type. He kept it clean. His his uh music was clean, no cursing, good wholesome everyday average boy music, right? Whatever. Just because you don't curse in your music, don't mean your music is clean. You know, you can be talking about all type of sexual stuff. Throwing out sexual lyrics, and I have a cuss word in it, and people can, just, just like for example that tribe called Quest song, "Relax Yourself" on Piece of the Clan. Now they was supposedly this clean group, but that song is really nasty as hell. Throw up on your couch now. She got semen furniture. You know what I'm saying? That's nasty, bro. He talking about screwing a girl. On the couch. You know what I'm saying? Ejaculating on the couch. You know? You know what I'm saying? That just like Bill Cosby act, talking like he clean, but yeah, he's slipping pills in females' drinks. He's slipping them what what you call it, Spanish fly in them in them, in them female drinks. But uh, uh but he judging somebody. But he judging uh Richard Pryor, though, he got in there to talk bad about Richard Pryor being uh, having cursing in his in his routine. While you up here, while you up here, slipping uh, Spanish flies and females drinks and raping them, but you talking bad about Richard Pryor because he cursing in his comedy routine. You see what I'm saying? Hypocrites. And I, you know, what I'm saying, and with special ed. I really think he misspoke because he said uh, NWA brought destruction to our youth and our culture. What you mean by that? NWA brought destruction to our youth and our culture. Well, who brought destruction to NWA? You know what I'm saying? I think he really misspoke because he's putting a heavy burden on NWA. <laughs> I mean, that's a real heavy ass. That's real a heavy ass mountain to lay on NWA, bro. That they brought destruction to society. <laughs> Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Like Remy Ma would say, "Are you stupid?" And I think he just misspoke, man. I, I, you know, I think he was halfway hating. I think, well, I think he was fully hating, and really didn't know what he was talking about. He was hating on NWA because they just they took over the game, killed rappers like him. He maybe felt like cause of NWA. Now I can't sell records. Cause the NWA, I can't do this, I can't do that. NWA took my spot. They coming in here with all this cursing now. The trend has changed. Now everybody want to hear dirty lyrics and gangster rap. And my music, you know what I'm saying? They, they push my music out of style. They push my music, you know. They push my music away. I think that's where the hate come from. I think he feels... And it's not true. He feels that when NWA came in, rap like his was no longer relevant. They took his type of rap out. And that's not true. You just had to come back with some hard. 
reinvent yourself. You know what I'm saying? They didn't take Tribe Called Quest out. Tribe Called Quest was still making good music and hits. So I think especially it was hating. And I think he misspoke. Because you putting way too much on N- you giving NWA way too much credence to say that they brought destruction to our youth and society culture however to hip hop that's not true now did they change hip hop forever if he would have said NWA changed hip hop forever yeah that's a more that's a more understanding statement to make that's a more correct statement to say you know what I'm saying you know yeah cause they did change hip hop now they did do that they changed hip hop forever I can't say Ice-T changed hip hop forever I can say Ice-T maybe may have influenced NWA but NWA was the spark that changed the world yeah they changed hip hop forever you know, hip hop evolved through NWA. Everything evolves. Nothing stays permanent. Nothing stays the same. Things evolve. That's nature. But you can't blame you can't blame NWA for society's ills. You know what I'm saying? Because you had all the troubles. The thing that you blaming NWA for, destruction was already here. That's that's why I said who brought destruction to NWA. You saying NWA brought destruction. Well, who brought them? To, who who brought the destruction to NWA? Because destruction was already in our communities, and you know this before NWA. Killings, robbings, murders, gangs, drugs. Anything you want to blame NWA for, it was already here. Before NWA made one song. So what are you talking about? You misspoke bro. You need to go back and clean that up. Because you sound like a fool. Especially at Bill Cosby. And you sound like a hater. You, you sound like Bill Cosby. When he hated on Richard Pryor. Bill Cosby was just hating on Richard Pryor. And that's how you sound. You sound like a hater. And NWA didn't kill East Coast rap. Because you still had a lot of East Coast. I mean, even today, you got your clean rap. You got Kanye. Uh, who the clean rap? You got J. Cole. Kanye West was pretty clean. It's pretty clean. You got, uh, compared to a gangster rap, he's clean. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. You got a lot of rappers. You can always, you know, there's always rappers for different personalities. You know what I'm saying? You can always you can you can that you can coexist. Uh, I'm I'm saying that clean rap can coexist with NWA. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you had to come stronger. You know, if you felt like if you was intimidated by NWA, you had to come stronger, bro. The weak don't survive. Only the strong will survive. You know what I mean? Them, 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 them nursery rhymes you was kicking, you had to step your game up. NWA made y'all niggas step y'all game up. You know what I'm saying? And, and and that's what it is. A lot of hate coming from the East Coast. Well, it's only everybody ain't hating on every rapper ain't hating on the East Coast. I ain't never seen or heard LL Cool J hate on the West Coast. I ain't never heard him hate on a West Coast rapper. You know, well, he had back and forth with Kumo D. I think Kumo D was from the West. But I ain't never heard LL Cool J hate on gangster rap, so called gangster rap. I don't even like to label it gangster rap. But I never heard LL Cool J diss NWA. You know, LL Cool J was pretty much a clean rapper. He survived through the NWA era, he was still bringing out hits. So L L so special ed man, I think he just felt inadequate, you know, uh when NWA came on the scene. 
I think he felt like his music got pushed to the background when NWA came on the scene. I think he hated on NWA. I think he he thinks everything's supposed to stay clean forever, stay one way forever. Like people, like you're not seeing drugs, you're not seeing uh junkies in your neighborhood. You're not seeing junkies when you walk down the street somewhere. Like you're not seeing drug dealers. Like you just gonna ignore uh, reality. You know what I'm saying? What you rapped about was reality, but there's another real, a harsh, rea- a harsher reality that that you didn't rap about, that they did rap about. So don't hate on NWA, bro, and don't put society's ills on NWA because you know you're wrong for that. You know, maybe you was raised in a two-parent household well not everybody was raised in a two-parent household so they got a different experience they see life different than you do maybe you was raised like the cosby kids well another well another guy or person may be may may have been raised with a crackhead mom with a foster with foster parents you know never seen a dad and so they going to talk about life differently than you. You can't hate on that. Especially Bill Cosby. Yeah, you just hating cuz you know you acting like Carlton from from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Everybody's not born with a silver spoon in their mouth and live in a big mansion and have maids and butlers. Some folks live in the projects. Some folks have to dodge bullets and while going while while walking to school. Some folks have seen drive-bys. Some folks have to live or have to duck in the bathtub because their house got shot up. That's what the NWA represented. That's what they talked about. Their experience on how they saw on how they saw the world. They didn't see the world like the Bill Cosby, like the Cosby kids. You know what I mean? Everybody don't don't live the same way, especially at Cosby. You know? So you wrong for that. You misspoke on that. I hope you and Ice Cube uh get on a panel and, and you know, get on an interview so he can just eat you alive like I just did. And <laughs> Ice Cube will eat you alive, bro. Cause you that was a real ignorant ass statement you made, bro. To my NWA block destruction. Man, you get the fuck out of it. You sound dumb as hell. I'm I'm disappointed in you, bro. You bought us you older than me. You you should have better sense than that. But it's like the hate clouds the judgment. It's like some of you niggas on the East Coast really hate that bad that you know you your judgment is cloudy. You don't make sense when you when you talk. Cause that you just feel with hate. You know what I mean? I don't even think P. Diddy would say some dumb shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I think P. Diddy would agree with what I'm saying. Like, it's a reflection on how you was raised and on what you've seen in your life. You know what I mean? That's one thing I said I can say about P. Diddy. He wasn't no he didn't come off as no hater. He never came off as a hater, bro. To the West. You know? P. Diddy know what it was. He he came up. I think his dad was a drug dealer or drug dealer or out there in the street. So P. Diddy know what it was. Know what it is. You know? But uh, Ice Cube definitely going to check you, Special Eddie. I can't wait for that day. You know, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, Special Eddie, you got to, you, you got to, uh, you, 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 you got to, you know, refrain. You got to, um, what they say? Rephrase your, your words. You got to correct your, your statement you made. You're going to have to backtrack on that statement you made. <laughs> You finna get ate up, bro. You gonna have to backtrack on that statement you made. Cause that was totally dumb. That was the dumbest shit I ever heard, man. 
That's that's one of the dumbest sh- fucking statements I ever heard in my life. Disappointed in special Eddie, man. God damn. You gonna get ate up, bro. Ice Cube gonna eat you for lunch. You know what I'm saying? It's a wrap for you. You might get booed when you're doing shows now for saying some dumb shit like that. You can't even come on the West Coast no more for saying some dumb shit like that, bro. They're going to boo you off stage. You can't do that, bro. You got to clean that up, bro. You got to... I'm sorry I misspoke. I meant they changed hip-hop forever and maybe not for the good. You know what I'm saying? You make you make him say some shit like that. They changed hip hop forever. They brought gangster rap in, and it hurt hip hop. You know, I could even if you said something like that, I would still I would disagree with you, but I could understand where you came from. If you said that, but you didn't say that. You said these motherfuckers brought destruction to our whole society. <laughs> hey, you. No, nah, they don't have that much power, bro. And and by the way, no rapper ever made me want it to game bang anyway. No rapper made never made me want it to do shit I didn't have in me to do anyway. It's called the way he the way he said he said like NWA made you want to game bang. NWA what didn't even talk about game banging. They wasn't what well, they said they was a gang. This is a gang in a minute. My man Dre will fuck you up, but they weren't talking about crimes. And they weren't talking about going out there committing crimes. You know what I mean? And even if they did say they was in a gang, that don't mean I want to join a gang. They they never made me want to join a gang. I don't care what rappers say. They can say they sold drugs. I listen to G's. I listen to all type of rap. They talk about killing all the time. Scarface. Too Short. Too Short talked about pimping hoes. Scarface talked about killing niggas. I didn't want to kill. I didn't want that. That made me want to go kill nobody. I didn't want to go pimp no hoes. You know? Dr. Dre talking about fucking hoes. Snoop Dogg, they talk about fucking hoes. Bitches ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? That really didn't change the way I look at women. It, it, did, it didn't affect... It, it, I, I liked it for what it was. It was music. I like. I liked it. It's just like watching a movie. Watching Scar, Scar It's just like watching Scarface. Did Scarface make you want to go sell drugs when you watch Scarface? Did Godfather make you want to go sell drugs? Did you actually go sell drugs because of a movie? Did you actually go do anything because of a rap song? If you did, you were slow anyway. You had you had it in you anyway to do some stupid shit. You had it in you anyway to be... If anybody say, well, yeah. NWA made me want to game man. Yeah, NWA made me want to... Any, if you say any rapper made you want to go do, if you say, I can see you saying, okay, I listen to Jesus, Jesus made me want to sell drugs, but did you actually do it? I listen to Jesus too. He he, he motivates you to hustle, but did you actually go do it? It's a difference between something that you want to go do something and actually do it. Did you actually do it because of Young Jeezy? Did you actually do it because of a? Uh, Scarface. Did you actually go kill somebody because of Scarface? You know what I'm saying? Did you actually go pimp some hoes because of Too Short? I'm just saying you were slow anyway. You was going to do that anyway. You was going to do something destructive anyway. You just needed an excuse to do it. If any of these rappers or movies make you want to go kill somebody or hurt, do anything stupid, copy what you see in a movie you had it in you anyway to be an idiot you had it in you anyway to do that shit you know what I'm saying none of that shit none of that rap shit ever made me want to go do it even smoking weed 
None of that smoking, none of that chronic shit ever made me want to go smoke weed. And, and, and even and, and that and, and, and but and, and then even if it did, we know right from wrong. We know okay, smoking weed, it didn't make me want to go sell it. But even if even if I want to try it, that's the difference between smoking weed and joining a gang or killing somebody. We all know right from wrong, bro. Everybody, you know, you learn right from wrong from a young age. You know there's consequences. You know that there's consequences to your actions. You may want to go do something because you heard it in a rap song, but then you're going to think about the consequences behind that because you know rap is just a song, but now I'm in reality and I know right from wrong. You know what I'm saying? You're going to think about... You're going to think about the, the actions that you take unless you're just an idiot with no conscience. And that ain't got nothing to do with rap. That just got something to do with your crazy ass personality. A lot of men that are in jail and prison right now, you don't hear none of them blaming on rap. I never heard a prisoner blaming what he did on rap music, bro. Ain't no prisoner coming out to my oh rap music made now. If it could if it could get them free, yeah, everybody gonna be blaming rap. If every prisoner will blame rap music, if it if it's something that can get them free and they can get over on the system. But you don't hear prisoners talk about, man, you know, listening to Ice Cube every night, man. That's why I'm in prison now, man. Listening to Tupac, listening to Thug, that's why I'm in prison now. You know what I'm saying? They don't talk they always talk about their upbringing. How they was raised. Not not rap music. Because it, 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 it's, it's what your parents instill in you. You know what I'm saying? And, some, and, and sometimes it's just how you made, how you built. You know? You know, so it, it's about your personality. You can be built a certain way where you numb. You don't care about stuff. You know? Everybody built differently. But don't put it on rap music. Motherfuckers gonna do that shit regardless of rap music. Motherfuckers was, was gang banging and killing people when when there was no rap music. When there was no NWA. Motherfuckers was on drugs. Motherfuckers was doing all type of heinous shit. That's human nature. It ain't got nothing to do with music. It just humans create the music. The music don't make us. We make the music. We make the music. The music don't make us. So we know what we we do what we want to do. Regardless if it's a Anita Baker song or it's a goddamn NWA song, we gonna commit a crime when we want if we want to do that. Regardless of what song playing in the background. It can be a love song playing in the background. And we going to commit a crime if that's what we want to do. You know what I mean? You can't put that on NWA, bro. Like I said, who brought the destruction to NWA? The people did. Human nature did. Human nature is destruction. That's part of being a human. Destruction. Evolving. Love. Kindness. Hate. All part of being a human man. Human emotions. All these factors. Are part of being a human being. So yeah. Ice Cube going to tear your ass up man. I would like to see that happen. Cause you you really you did you misspoke big time, bro. Like you need some knowledge in your life and cut the hate out your life. That's it, man. Big big facts. Peace.